Hey guys, my name is Angelia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the second part of the 100 baby house speed build. That was a mouthful and I apologize. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna hop right back into it. I apologize for not getting a video up yesterday. It's been like, uh, with my dad being off for uh, Labor Day, like I had no time to record because like, he's the type that'll just like barge in if you're in the middle of recording and doesn't care. Um, so yeah, anyway. <laughs> back. Um, but I did want to get this part out, you know, kind of back to back because uh, this build A took me a while and B, um, I kind of need to get it off my hard drive. So <laughs> here we go. Um, this bathroom, man, it took me, you're going to be seeing this bathroom a lot. Um, it took me a while to get this the way I wanted it to be. Um, I think this is actually a form of it from what I remember, like, I, I haven't recorded this in a while. <laughs> um, this has just been kind of sitting on my hard drive since the middle of August. Um, but I was, like, the entire bathroom part, I was texting Emily pictures of, like, does this look okay? What about this? Okay, but what about this? <laughs> How do you think this looks? Um, she actually helped me, though, with, uh, figuring out the placements of certain things. Um, but as you can see, I kind of just gave up on the bathroom and I moved to the master bedroom. Um, so this is going to be Blake's bedroom. Um, I did want it to be downstairs near the toddler room, because the toddler room is also downstairs. It's actually right next door to her room. Um, just so you know, A, she can have easier access to them. Um, and I didn't want the toddlers upstairs because, you know, the whole movement skill thing that you have to do and all of that. So I was like, you know, it's just gonna be easier on me if the toddlers are downstairs and then we're just done with it that way. So my little toddles will be downstairs with their mom. Um, obviously the baby will go in her room. Now... I have to admit, <laughs> I wind up furnishing this more than it actually is in my game currently because I, again, I deleted a lot of stuff because I, I the cost, it was bad. <laughs> it wasn't fun. It wasn't a good time when I, when I realized the cost. So I did go in off camera and remove a lot of stuff. Um, but anyways, it's still cute and I'm pretty happy about the house and I can't wait to actually be able to furnish it. Also, I'm recording this on Tuesday? Yes, it's Tuesday. And they just announced and showed off some of the stuff that we're getting on Thursday with the patch and I'm so excited about the stairs. Finally! <laughs> like, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I cannot wait. Finally, we don't just have straight up and down stairs. It's gonna be spectacular. Um, can't wait for that. I'm also super happy about the Middle Eastern representation because if you guys don't know, I am actually Middle Eastern. Uh, my family is Lebanese, so we are Arabic. Um, and just being able to have that in the game is going to be great. I'm very excited about that. I don't know what I was trying to accomplish here. <laughs> I think I was trying to create like a longer wall for those things and it didn't work out, as you can see. Um, do I leave it bumped up a, a bit? I think maybe? I don't know. I don't remember what I do. <laughs> Actually, no, I do leave it the way it is now. Um, because I remember putting in an archway, I believe. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I'm very excited to see the Middle Eastern culture being represented. Makes me happy. Um, you know, we're obviously Americanized because I was born here, my parents were born here. Well, my dad's Italian, but like my mom. <laughs> And her siblings, they were all born in the United States. My grandma was born in the United States, but we are Lebanese. Her dad was actually born in Lebanon, though, so there's that whole thing. Um, but yeah, so it's really cool. I'm very excited. Um, and I do give the... <laughs> Anytime you see me doing that weird zooming in and out thing, it's me being really frustrated and just like... I was like, oh my god, I want to exit out right now because you're making me angry <laughs> type of zoom. Am I the only one that does that? maybe. I don't know. Um, so I do create like a little hallway right here. Um, I believe I add in a laundry room. Yeah, I'm sectioning it off right now for a laundry room. Uh, I'm, I'm still kind of debating on whether or not to keep it or to just extend it and make a bigger bathroom for the toddles. Um, because I did attach a bathroom to the toddle room. That's what I'm calling them now. They're just little toddles. Um, and yeah, see, I just kind of stuck the shower in there, and then I wind up changing my mind and turn that into a laundry room that we don't really need and probably shouldn't have because I feel like the laundry is going to get on my nerves, especially with a family this large, so. Hmm, yeah, I'm rethinking that now. Um, I don't remember if I, if I keep it, though, <laughs> which is the craziest thing. I really don't remember if I keep it, but again, I haven't looked at this build since last month, so there's that to contend with. 
Uh, wallpapers. Yeah, I, I went through like a bazillion of them trying to find a good color. Um, I wanted something neutral but not blinding on my eyes. So, <laughs> you know. Uh, I, again, I do have a lot of light sensitivity to my eyes. That's, again, why the loading screen thing was a big issue for me because I do have sensitivity triggered migraines. So, yeah. Yeah, there's my sweet laundry room that I'm really thinking about right now and <laughs> going, hmm, should probably delete that. Um, if I haven't already, I don't, I don't remember if I removed it from this build or not, but I should probably go and check that at some point. But you know, we can't afford it for a long time anyway at this point, so whatever. I need to get some like birds of paradise <laughs> to just make us a ton of money. Um, but I am very pleased with the way this build turned out. Um, obviously there is custom content that I use in this, so if and when I do put it on the gallery, just please be aware of that. Or maybe I'll just go through it, um, and save a separate version of this to put on the gallery, if that makes sense, without custom content. Um, because so I believe most of the CC is in the toddles room right there. But, like, that's about it. <laughs> um, there might, yeah, so some floor tiles maybe. Can't, what did I use? Did I use dine out? Yeah, <laughs> of course I use the dine out tiles, right? Those are the ones I always use because they're pretty and I like them. So deal with that, basically. Um, also, I really like this color for the walls. Uh, it's very easy on my eyes and it's not too dark because I don't really like a lot of dark colors in rooms. Um, a, it makes tends to make rooms look smaller and B, it just, I feel like it just, I don't know, absorbs all the light and I can't see anything, so this color is pretty nice. It's neutral and it doesn't kill my eyes, so I'm happy about it. Um, again, really in love with the way the kitchen turned out. Like, I was just looking at like, oh, I did a good job on that. Good job, self. I'm proud of you. <laughs> uh, the bathroom. This bathroom was like the bane of my existence. I'm not gonna lie. Also, the upstairs is very, very sparse, um, because I think that, that was around the time I was like, oh wait, I have a budget I should probably stick to, and then realized my grave error. Uh, yeah, it, it was a big error. <laughs> I regret everything. Um, but yeah, uh, so it looks like I'm still working on little toddles. Nope, I'm doing the laundry room. It's like, yeah, th it's a good idea to sh shove a bunch of decorations in here and waste all this money. It, that's that's smart, right? That's a good idea. It wasn't a good idea. I don't recommend it. It was a very bad idea. Very poor choices on my part. I mean, it looks nice. Like, <laughs> for my once, like, my floor plan wasn't a complete disaster. You know? Like, I'm, I'm proud of myself for that one. Emily, aren't you proud of me? Like, <laughs> she's the one that's always making fun of me and my terrible freaking floor plans. But, you know, it is what it is. Look, I can landscape the outside of a house pretty darn well. It's just the inside. I don't decorate too well. But that's fine. Um, oh yeah, I was I was playing around with the, those lights off camera. They are CC, but like behind the stairs, it was just pitch dark. I was like, okay, this is creepy. There could be like a ghost behind there or something. And I need to light this up. So I put in some custom content lights. They're cheap. So I was like, well, I can either use my CC and have it remain cheap or use base game stuff and have it be way more expensive. So I opted for the cheap route of custom content because usually it costs less. So I'm quite proud of myself for that. And now there are no demons that can spawn there. So I'm happy. Um, yeah, I'm weird and I know that and I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah, why, why did I decorate so much? I'm just looking at this going, why did I do this? And the thing is, I didn't even decorate as much as I wanted to. Like, I was holding back when I was doing this. And now I'm looking at it going, oh, this is why I can't afford things. Oh, that's why I can't afford that. Oh, <laughs> there we go again. Um, I love those lights, by the way. Like, this, that piece of CC is one of my favorites. They're like little dot down lights that you can put under cabinets. Um, because sometimes in The Sims, when you put on the cabinets uh, on the walls, it like completely darkens that area and you can't see anything. So it's really nice to be able to have that option of kind of fixing that and balancing it out. Um, really love those slides. I don't remember, I'm pretty sure I got them on TSR. It was a long time ago though. Like, <laughs> those things are old. Let me just, let me just tell you that. Let me zoom in on 
premiere here so I can see exactly where we're at. Oh yeah, the laundry. I, yeah, I do, there's the baby feet. Um, I do delete the laundry because I remember now going through and removing all the, um, the baskets there. Because I remember like having to turn and grab hers. So I do remove it. <laughs> Fun facts. Um, I really wanted to give the toddles some nice carpet, but I didn't, again, didn't want to hurt my eyes. Um, <sighs> oh, I just realized that Joey's gonna yell at me for using that rug, but you know what? It's fine because it matches the rest of the room and therefore I'm justified, especially since there's a toddler room. So, there. Oh yeah, baby got moved. <laughs> my, my, my baby thing. It's like a monument. It's our mascot now. <laughs> Just sitting on the front lawn. Oh my god. Um, I don't know, remember what I was trying to do here. I think I was gonna cut away that area and just have it kind of more of an open space, but decided not to. Um, because I feel like we're gonna need as much room as we can get. Uh, I do think I end up <sighs> deleting some beds here too. Um, because I feel like I placed a lot of beds at first and then I went back and removed them. Or remove them entirely because when we do move we are obviously going to be taking a lot of our belongings with us so we might not need it. Uh, I was trying to do a feature wall. I really wanted to do a feature wall with our new uh... <gasps> oh god. Where did you come from? I wanted to do a feature wall with our new wallpaper from the Moschino stuff pack but uh, it just wasn't working for that room so I used my CC bricks which I absolutely adore. Um, it makes me want to have like a brick feature wall in my own home if I ever move out and get one of those. But um, anyway, sad sob stories aside. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's fun. Um, I was creating, I, I kind of wanted to make a child's room and like a teenager's room, just so A, we do have enough room, and B, you know, they can kind of have their own space and like make one more kid friendly and one a little bit more grown up, that whole thing. Um, there are plenty of bathrooms, obviously. Did I put one or two bathrooms up here? I don't even remember. That might be a playroom up there. Um, with like the activity tables and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what that is towards the front of the house across from the teen bedroom is an activity room. Um, because I wanted to obviously have like a skill building type room is probably a better, a better way to put it. Uh, there is a lot of open wasted space up top, but... That's also kind of good because it gives us a little bit more wiggle room for when the family gets bigger, when we need other things, and all that happy, fun stuff, or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I don't know what I'm saying. Look, my head hurts and I, it's hot in here. I have like a, a tiny fan blowing on my PC because like it's overheating big time because it's so freaking warm. Ugh, I'm over summer, by the way. I'm done with it. So done with it. And today, well, today for when you guys actually see this, I'm going to the Lebanese store and I'm super excited because we're gonna be getting some stuff to bake with and we haven't baked a lot of those things in a while so I'm very excited because our rose and orange blossom water were both out of code. So that's a thing. But yeah, I'm very excited about that. I'm also getting my hair cut this week. I'm kind of thinking about chopping it off, but I don't know. We'll see what happens as I'm just babbling about absolutely nothing instead of the build. So let's get back to the build. Um, now, these plum bob lamps you actually get with, if you had The Sims 3, um, and, and obviously The Sims 4, but um, they like reward you with these in game. I did have The Sims 3, but I don't have it on this computer, nor can I be bothered to put it back on because it's laggy and stuff um, and it's not attached to my origin account because I don't even think I had one back then. Uh, I played, I didn't play The Sims 3 for very long. <laughs> the Sims 3 was about like a week process and that was probably about it and then I gave it away. Um, it, it just didn't run for me at all. It was just so laggy. But anyway, um, there was a custom content creator that made that. So we're at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this build. Um, and yeah, have a magical day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!